Even though it wasn't an incredibly hot summer or a busy hurricane season, we could be dealing with extreme weather this winter thanks to a strong El Nino. Tonight, Chief Meteorologist Wes Hohenstein takes us through the history of strong El Ninos in North Carolina and sits down with one of the state's top researchers of the phenomenon to determine how much snow we may see here this winter. When we look back to 1950, this is either the strongest or the second strongest El Nino that we've seen that's developing right now. That potential record-breaking El Nino this winter started forming eight months ago. The Pacific Ocean waters have started to warm, and that warm water gives more energy and moisture to our jet stream. And with a more active jet stream, we'll have more storms moving through the mid-Atlantic. But that doesn't always mean more snow. El Nino can only set the table for our winter weather. We actually have to have the atmosphere do the cooking to deliver our uh, big snowfall chances. That cooking comes in the form of well-timed cold air. Without it, it's just going to be a wet, not a white winter. In fact, the strongest El Nino ever back in the winter of 1997-98 helped produce the wettest January across the state and the fourth wettest February. But only two inches of snow fell that year. So all that snow gear in your closet, you might not need it this winter. This El Nino index graph going back to 1950 shows us all the El Nino years when the line is above zero. Here you see shaded in red. Out of the seven strongest since 1950, all but two of them resulted in higher than average snow totals. And for our area, the average is about seven inches. In our strong El Nino years, we see several totals above 11 inches. So if you know there's gonna be a lot of moisture, how do you figure out if cold air is coming? Believe it or not, what's going on in Russia may have something to do with it. The rate that snow builds up there during October can often be a good sign of what that phase will be like as we get into the winter. That cold air phase is influenced by Siberian snow accumulation and is called North Atlantic Oscillation, or the NAO. And when it's in a certain position, North Carolina and the East Coast gets colder air from the north. But even that can't guarantee snow. Last year was one of the snowiest winters on record in Siberia, and we ended up not seeing much of anything until the very end of, la of the last winter here. So here's what we know so far. The El Nino is going to be strong this winter. Siberia experienced record snowfall this October, meaning we could have more cold air down the East Coast. And we also have a great comparison of the large-scale weather conditions in the 1972 and 1982 El Nino years. Both uh, had conditions just overall in the global atmosphere, whether it's in the Pacific or in the Atlantic, that played out pretty similar to what we've seen so far or what we expect to see this winter. And in that case, both of those did have above normal snowfall. Taking all that information into account, let's now look at the recently released winter outlook. It's covered in two parts, precipitation, which says we'll have wetter than average conditions, and temperature outlook, which says we'll have average temperatures. All of this information has us leaning toward the same conclusion some of you may be hoping for. But just based on the climatology, what we usually see in El Nino years, we would expect at least normal snowfall, maybe slightly above that this year. Yeah, so while all this information seems very logical, right? When it comes to long range outlooks, you always just have to wait and see. And while all signs are pointing to more snow than average this winter, it's possible we could have another repeat of 1991 and get just a trace. Now, I was curious if anyone or any agency was preparing for the possibility of more snow. For instance, the DOT. Are they ordering more salt? Well, I found out that each county is expected to restock its maximum capacity each year, no matter what the forecast. So the answer there is no. Don't forget, winter officially starts December 22nd, one month from this Sunday. 